It's been two long weeks, and I still haven't figured out how to do an intro. I've been gone for a while, but that's just because I didn't want to get burned out of making videos. But to make it up, I have a lot more to review this week. And to start this week off with the reviews, we're starting with the five mythic packs that you could find at Five Below. At least I think there's five. I'm not sure if there's a chase variant like there were before, but these were the only ones I could find when I went to Five Below. So these are the ones I'm reviewing. If I do find out that there is like a chase variant of one of these, then I'll grab it once I find it. But for now, this is all I have. Just because they're called Mythic Packs doesn't mean that they're exactly like Mythics were before. They're just similar in concept, I suppose. They're translucent versions of already existing Bakugan with different stats, I'm assuming. Uh, I actually don't know the stats of all of these. And uh, they also come in new packaging. They come in these little baggies instead of the uh, plastic packaging that they come with. I prefer the old packaging of the Mythics because this just kind of looks really uh, bootleg. But I guess it's not the worst. It seems pretty easy to open, so I think that's always a plus, even if it doesn't look the best. I don't know how to explain it, but these feel more like stocking stuffers for like a Christmas present than anything. But I'm not entirely sure why they chose this kind of packaging. Maybe it's cheaper, maybe it's not. I'm going to start with Dragonoid, and then I'm just going to grab random ones to review as we go along. Yeah, just like I thought. Pretty easy to open. Uh, no, no complaints there. So we'll review what's in this one. It has the uh, Dragonoid character card. This one actually seems like the exact same one you would get from a regular Dragonoid. I'm not entirely sure, but considering it, the little character card code down there is 01, uh, I would assume this is the exact same as the Dragonoid. If this is, if the other uh, Dragonoid is 01 as well. And this is the gate card it comes with. And the ball itself comes in these uh, plastic little wraps. Which was also pretty easy to open. Uh, it's not a big thing, but I do feel like I still prefer the old packaging. Just because even though it's just uh, like a wrapper and then the packaging comes in, it feels like a little bit more of a mess. But, you know, it's just small things like that that don't really matter. And as for the toy itself, uh, yeah, same mold. It just has different paint and it's translucent. I don't know how to explain it, but it reminds me a lot of Legacy Translucents. Uh, I have a translucent uh b1 dragonoid the original dragonoid as a translucent and the plastic looks a lot like that well maybe not looks but it feels like that if you know what i mean i don't have it on me though so i can't compare it to that but you know this one looks fine i don't mind this mold the biggest gripe i have with it is the bottom half but if you like the mold then here's a translucent version the translucent version I'll combine them all at the end and roll them out and for the next one uh we're going to be looking at the bruiser the uh white or chaos or i i heard people call them by their color instead of like what attribute they would be if attributes were still a thing uh, i don't know what most people prefer to call it i think just calling it what it looks like it would be as if it had an attribute makes more sense than just saying white bruiser or uh, green bruiser it just you know but uh let me know what you guys call them by i'm just going to continue calling them chaos or pirates or whatever even if it's not the right term here is the Bruiser character card. This one is number three. So I'm guessing these are the first five Bakugan in the set list, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I was expecting these to have Roblox codes. Here's a gate card. Uh, but they didn't, which I guess it's fair. It would probably be hard to like hide the code inside the packaging since it's just a clear front and everything's just kind of loosey-goosey in there. you know. So here's the Bruiser one. Uh, this one's not really translucent because you can't see through it too well. It's just pure, like, milk. It looks like milk. Uh, it looks like something else, actually, but I'm not going to say it because uh, we're family-friendly here, obviously. Anyway, back to the stupid fucking toy. Yeah, I don't know what's up with this uh, plastic, but uh, it's just pure white, and there's no paint on it that I can see apart from the eyes. The rest is it's just... It looks like... It looks like a fro was it Baku Frost, that variant? I would say Baku Pearl, but it, I think Frost is more what it looks like. Yeah, uh, I actually haven't held this model before, and I'm guessing it still has the same feet problem as the uh, Titanium Dragonoid does. So that uh, subtracts some points, but other than that, it also just kind of opens on the top half, similar as the Hammerhead one, which is also deducting some points. And then also deducting points for the fact that the plastic's not really translucent, like uh, the Mythics are supposed to be. That definitely subtracts some points. And the fact there's no paint. I think it's safe to say that this toy gets a 1 out of 10. 
if we just add all those numbers together or subtract, I guess. Moving on to the Nilius one, uh, here's the character card. This one does seem familiar, like this, the numbers seem very similar, although I don't know how much you can really change it since I feel like they go from between like 600 to 100. So I'm sure there's a lot of overlapping stats there between these character cards, but I actually own the original Nilius model from Wave 1, so I could get the character card to check if I wanted to, but I don't want to, so I'm not going to. Uh, Nilius also has pretty much a mirrored version of the Dragonoid character card. I think this one's the Nilius one. But yeah, they're pretty much mirrored. I think like some of the cards are meant to go together, which is a cool concept. I do like that idea. But I just wish there was a little bit more on the gate card that like made sense. But I don't know. It's basically just mirrored. Now for the Nilius model, I do like this model. So I was hoping this, mo this uh, mythic version would be really good. And I mean, it's not bad just because the mold's not bad. But again, just like with the Bruiser, there's barely any paint on this. It's just pretty much the eyes. Oh, actually, it is just the eyes. There's no other paint on it, which sucks. Um, the Dragonoid did have some paint on the wings, so I was expecting some of that at the very least. But yeah, the Nilius, unfortunately, is just very bland. But at least this is more apparent that it's translucent, unlike the Bruiser. Okay, is it just me, or do these, like kind of remind you of the scooby-doo gummies like the ones with the the really good blue version like that's sort of what this plastic reminds me of i kind of want to take a bite out of all these just to see what flavor they are now here's trox he's number two uh Nilius was number six in case you were wondering so maybe there is a six one that i didn't see or didn't find or wasn't at the store i'm not sure if there is one then let me know the only one i can imagine it would be would be like a brown one since that's the last color that's missing from here, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure. But here's the Trox, that's the character card, and then the gate card is this, just a, a bunch of dirt. And here's Trox, uh, this model sucks, so I wasn't expecting much. I wasn't expecting anything and I'm still disappointed. Yeah, it's a bad model, no matter how much paint they would put or didn't put in this case, because again, only the eyes for whatever reason. Uh, this mold's just not good. However, I will say, it does look the tastiest. I do like green flavors in most things. So uh, I think uh, so far this would be the one I would eat if I had to eat one. Now for Octagon, here he is. He is number, oh, he's number 40. Okay, never mind. My theory was completely wrong. Uh, yeah, a little bit of a, a jump from six. So here's Octagon. That's the character card. And I do think I have the Octagon one just like I have the Nilius one, but I don't feel like grabbing it. There's the gate card. This one's actually pretty pretty it yeah it's pretty i like this card gate card looks nice i've liked these plastic wraps less and less the more i've opened them um i just cut my nails so i have no nails to open these with and it's just been very painful and then here is the toy uh yeah this one looks scrumptious like holy shit that's a great shade of blue it was the same shade of blue as like back here almost but uh yeah this one looks i mean the mold's great i do really like this mold it's going a lot on me uh the more i've uh, played with it played around with it and uh, this shade of blue is just really nice. It, I think out of all of them, this should be the one with the least amount of paint. Just because, I don't know, I, uh, an octopus is like kind of slimy, kind of not bland because, you know, they can change colors and stuff. But you know what I mean? They're just very slimy. And I feel like the less paint it has, the more slimy and slick it looks. So for Octagon, this makes more sense. And yeah, I do like this one. All right, so now that I've opened all of them, I'm going to combine them together and do a little montage of rolling them out. So I uh, hope you enjoy. <laughs> Uh, rolling with a camera in front of your face is actually a lot harder than it looks. So yeah, that's the end of this video. If you enjoyed, then leave a like and subscribe for more reviews. I'm going to be reviewing the rest of the Chase Bakugan from Wave 2 uh, very soon. So uh, look out for that. And thank you for the continuous support, even though I haven't uploaded it in a couple weeks. Uh, we're almost at 50 subscribers, which is insane already. I don't even know what to do for 50 subs special, but uh, if you guys have ideas, then let me know. And just because for some reason it looks like Nilius is wearing a diaper here, let's just end the video with a picture of a diaper. A clean diaper, just to be clear. A clean diaper.